What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. It's already late. I don't know what it is. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. We're just getting to World Headquarters 2.0. We've got at C Bailey 619 he's been here for a little while. We've got Sharon here, she's boxing up all the work for orders for tonight. And well, tonight's the night we're getting all packed up to go to Flogfest, which we haven't really had a whole lot of time to do a lot of packing or planning, being that our ranch almost burned down, we've had a whole lot of fencing we had to rebuild. We are very, very unprepared. We have stocked up on a bunch of workforce stuff here. So we've got a bunch of the old designs restocked because we are gonna be having a booth at Flogfest. And we've got a couple new designs here that I'm excited to show you guys. I'm nervous to show you guys. It's probably not gonna be in this video, but stay tuned for that. Throw it on the video. What? Throw it on the video. We should throw it on the video? Yeah. Are you working hard, Chris? No, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for your all right, so we're going to reveal one of these shirts right now because because the big guy right there, he helped design this one. Did I? You, you didn't see this. It's been sitting literally right in front of you in the office that you've been in the whole time. Well, Chris, turn it around to show everybody on camera. Oh, you, all right. You got to take it in. Dang, son. Look at that, Chris. Look at, hold on. We got to smooth it out a little bit. You like it? I mean, that was your idea. That was my idea. I all like right. it. I Let's like see. It. it better not flop. It's not going to flop. Don't let it flop, guys. Head over to workfortapparel.com. There'll be a link right there and down in the description. Don't let it flop. This is Chris's idea here. If we sell out, what are you going to do for the people? Come out with a new design. Oh. One of the things uh, we got to get ready here is the old girl, the old BBB. She's going to be making another big old long trip to Utah in the morning. We haven't even started her in a long time. She hasn't been washed in absolutely forever. Look how filthy the wheels are. It's either wait till we get out there and find a detailer or wash it tonight. You know, we got first semi-famous barbecue here. I'm ready. Oh, you're all ready. Shoot. Come on, load it up. Load it up. Ready to go. Tetris was my game back in the day. I could tell. Looking good, Fern. Hold on. It's a little bright, a little bright. There we go. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, adjust, adjust. Fern's all loaded up, ready to go. Chris's truck is pretty well packed up here. We got all the work for our merch. We got our sidewalls for our booth and our display. All filled up. You're not responsible? Not responsible. Oh, jeez. All right, well, today's the day. We're driving out to Flog. We've got uh, both the trucks warming up. We're going to get the OBS moved out of the way here. We're going to pull out the BBB. Now, we have a little bit of an issue. Um, I was going to wash my truck last night, but it was super, super late. And everybody's like, well, we're getting our stuff detailed up in Utah, so just jump on board with that. Well, I talked to the detail. It turns out he actually isn't going to be washing people's trucks. He's just going to be giving them a waterless wipe down, which my truck's a little too dirty for that. So I guess we'll spend in the morning uh, get the old BBB washed here, which sucks because we've got a lot of cardboard boxes in the bed of all the work for it merch and I guess I'm gonna try and wash it without getting those wet. Trucks all washed, we're all packed up, we're ready to go. And for those of you guys new to the channel, this is my biggest, most obnoxious truck that I own. Also, the most comfortable, most fuel efficient and best road trip vehicle. So, let's go to Utah. I am enjoying the diesel prices here in Nevada. $2.35 as opposed to over $3 in California. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I see at C Bailey 619. We got the Flog Boys. That Flog Girl. What's up, boys? God damn. That's a little bit of a drive up here. It is a drive up here. How are I'm you? I'm glad to see a free state where Rona don't exist. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Have you been babysitting this guy for me? Well, we. You been putting him to work? He's been babysitting us a bit. So <laughs> Did we'll you put him to work? Oh, yeah. He's good for about 15 minutes. Yeah, we, we got about 10. Oh, you must have yeah. had some good snacks. <laughs> All right, when you're done with that, try it on that one. That one's got a pre-runner bumper. It's got to be a pre-runner. That's a good-looking combo right there. 
Oh, this is the suspension you guys built, right? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that's Kevin's uh, little project there. Watch out, bulletproof flocks coming for you guys. Ooh, look at that trailing arm set up. Project. Oh, we're not supposed to show this? So, I mean, as long as you guys don't tell anybody. Nobody watches this, these videos. I mean, I'm surprised anybody actually does watch these videos, but are we going to leave it like this for the show or what? Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to prop it up. Let's put it on the, his, Wait. park his truck up underneath it. We didn't bring a... What should we park under here? That's a good idea. We, we don't have a flex ramp, so... Well, I could have brought mine, but it, it's, it's not quite as, uh, yeah, mine would have been about right there. So Chris rolled out in a big convoy with everybody. Um, obviously, Chris's truck is here in the speed pole booth. We've got Fern semi-famous barbecue all set up over here. We're going to have the work for booth right here. Chris already was gracious enough to unload his truck. They left at like 3 this morning, so they got here uh, quite a few hours before we did. <laughs> We're stoked. We're going to be inside the air-conditioned building because it's probably going to be about 103, maybe, maybe 100 this weekend. And boy, do we got a lot of stuff to unload. Show me. What are you going to show me? What are you gonna show me? See all this right here? Yeah, what's that? That's from Work For It. That's Work For It? That's that's Work For It's, you know. You're out here working for it, dude? No, I'm just uh, transporting Work For It's inventory and that's what happened. So uh, Chris getting his truck all cleaned up. We've got the Work For It booth getting all set up over there. I gotta get my truck clean. I don't know what uh, pterodactyl we hit, but we hit something pretty big there. Flog boys are getting their booth set up. Dang, bro. This is the most work I've ever seen you do to clean your own truck. Let's go see what we got going on outside. Give you guys a little behind the scenes sneak peek over here. Got the flog stage getting built. And I know I've said this in the past of the last flog fest. The reason I like the boys from flog is like when they throw a party, they say they do it the way that they would want it. It's not to make money. Um, it's not to like grow their name. I mean, it, it does help grow their name, but they throw a party that they would want to throw. They own this entire stage. They built this stage for like this big, uh, I guess river, not river, lake party that they do every year. So over here, they got the dyno. Um, it's supposed to be a burnout pit somewhere. I'm not really sure where that's going. Go check out this big dually over here. And uh, you can see the sun going down behind me, but it's still warm out here. Still gonna be a lot cooler than last year. Last year was about 112, 115. Uh, and uh, yeah, that one was a little bit brutal, but they pushed it back this year about a month. So I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty bearable temperatures, but this truck is sick. I'm a sucker for dualies, guys. You guys know that. Let's see what kind of wheels and tires we're running without they're running Furies. So you know we're thinking about doing the F450. Well, we are gonna be doing the uh, F450 for my dad, and I've been trying to figure out a wheel tire combo. Um, I've heard eh, things about Fury, you know, like people say they're great for a show tire, but they don't necessarily think a lot of people should be running them, but I think that's a a killer look right there but finding a tire um, nobody makes a 40 that skinny fury's the only one that makes a 40 by 13.5 and being that my dad's gonna be daily driving this truck i want a nice good reliable tire on there i'm a toyo fan but toyo only comes in 15.5 wise which means you need giant spacers uh they did a pretty good job here these ones don't touch and they don't stick out super far all right well we got the booth all set up everything is ready to go we got our passes so we're ready Vlog fest tomorrow. We're gonna go check out our uh, our digs where we're staying tonight. I think we're pretty much the last ones here. It's way past Chris's bedtime. You ready? You ready to go to bed, Chris? Yeah, man. I only had like an hour and a half of sleep last night. All right, we've arrived at our our home away from home here. We'll go inside and explore this booger. Oh, sounds like sounds like we almost lost Chris. Chris, you all right? I almost lost the pizza. You almost lost the pizza? Vlog can use a little WD-40. Hello. Hello. Hello? Oh, oh, a little blurry. Hello? Small, man. What the? Nice kitchen. Oh, what? Oh. Ow. Dog, Ugh. you gonna walk right past the pantry? You're not know, even gonna check for snacks, dude? You trying to claim a bedroom? I'm, yeah. getting, I'm getting the master. Where all the magic happens. Uh, all right, it's a little, little, little dated on the uh, bread, bed spread there. Chris, that's an exit. All right, buddy. That's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. <laughs> oh, what do we got? Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> Go in the backyard. See if there's any scorpions. Nine. <laughs> Last time we were out here, uh, we didn't stay at this place. But we came and ate at this place, and uh, yeah, a lot of scorpions out here. All right, wh which room you want? You want this room? You want this room? What's up with the bedding? Comfy or not comfy? Dude, turn on the AC in here. What? I'm playing with this first one right here. You got first one? I got first one. All right, well, this is the backyard area. I don't 
really know what's out there. It's dark. I can't see nothing. Dang, you already found the food? Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, Fern? Dude, watch out, Fern. This thing's been well cooked on, buddy. It's seasoned. We're coming for you, Fern. What the? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, why are you so on edge, dude? <laughs> You touch that, that's something good. It's got a good sized garage. So the cool thing about this place, uh, oh, it's even got a central vacuum. I haven't seen that put in a newer home in a long time. Uh, so the cool thing about these places that you can rent is their, their sand dunes are like right there. So out in California where things aren't as like cool and they didn't think of like how to make stuff really cool, you got to tow your trailer out to the dunes and then, uh, you know, basically you're living in your trailer. These guys are like, oh, we just build you some super sweet condos and you bring your stuff out, you drive straight out the condo to the dunes, come back and have a great time. And then you get to come back to like a nice big beautiful house. So I know a lot of these were sold and then they rent some of them out. So we got one of the rentals that we got in here. Oh, look. We got, we got a water filtration system, some touch up paint. What do you think, dude? It's a good sized garage, huh? Bring your truck on over. Huh? I'm fine. Uh. <laughs> uh. Bro. I don't have a truck. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna think this one through. Apparently we're locked in. Oh, I don't mean, since we're locked in the garage, let's see what we got in the fridge. Uh, no, nothing, dog. Maybe we, maybe we got some ice cream. No, we got a half bag of ice. Ugh, that thing's been there for a minute. For real, we're locked in the garage. Comes with a super sweet antique ladder and some pool noodles. See what we got for bathroom in here. Looking pretty nice. I mean, clearly, it's it sounds occupied. Not a bad little setup, though. Um, oh, dude, this is for like some power pooping. Look at the. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? You're enjoying the shower? I'm in the shower, man. Yeah, that's a pretty good size, huh? Decent size. How many shower heads? Oh, just one. Man. Just one? Oh, look at it. Dude, we got a weird random mini table in here. And some overly gaudy pillow. Oh, geez, even more gaudy pillows? Never been a fan of staying in other people's houses, man. It's just a weird thing. Just don't know about this. I don't know about this, this frilliness going on over here. This is like, ooh, that bad boy is heavy, too. Mm, mm. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but weird. I don't understand why people pick those. Like, look at, look at the bedding choices in here. A little crazy. <laughs> well, what do you got? Do you got your own bathroom? Dude. Bro, and you got your own entrance. Let's we'll see what's out here. What we got? I closed the door. Dude. Oh, dude, Whoa. Bro, there. Go out there. No. Go out there. Close the freaking door. It's spooky out there, man. <laughs> Dang, what if a scorpion ran in when I did that right now? Did. Oh, that's a good sized bathroom, bro. God. What you got in here? Let's turn on the shower light. Dang, dude. I think, I think. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is your, yeah, this is your room, dude. <laughs> oh, let's check out Chris's closet. Got more pillows. How many pillows do you need? Bro, there's a bug in here already. <laughs> you changed the rooms? Oh, I'm changing houses. <laughs> we went out. What? <laughs> this is out. There's a, there's a moth in his room. He's leaving. Uh, never mind. It's, it's dark out there. Dog, you gonna just walk out there? No, it's scary. <laughs> get, get him. Get him. Oh, dude, he landed on your bed now. <laughs> Give yourself a heart attack, dude. It's nothing serious, man. It's just a bug. Check this out, y'all. We got the finest of stereo equipment right here. Look at that. What? I got a question. You have a question? I got a question. What? You might want to turn the camera off. What? You could turn the camera off. Okay. Well, Chris, you feel real safe knowing that, uh, yeah, th this is not the house that we're in right now. I don't know where they got this map from, but it, the fire plant is. Dog, can you turn on the fan for me, man? What? Yeah, man, I got you. Look, I got a switch that says fan. Is it spinning the right way or you want it to spin the other way? That's, that's, that's pretty nice. Is it, is it good? Uh, really Dude, you it's should get hot in here. You want some sheets like this at your house? or This thing looks like it's got blood on it. <laughs> it does.
was an interesting way they did the ink. Good coffee, man. Hey, good night. Aren't you like... What? Why are you still videotaping? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> it's, I don't know. What time is it? Midnight? Twelve thirty? I don't even. I don't, oh. I don't even know. I don't know. Check out how kind of this house is strange. Coming outside here, let's make sure we don't get any, any scorpions. We got a nice little courtyard here. But check out how they do the. Hold on. Gotta, gotta make sure we close the door. Check out how they do like the downspouts. So I'm assuming these are downspouts. I'm sure this has a flat roof. So these are where all the roof drains are, and they pop out. But look at the giant like bulge, the stucco bulge that they have to get it into the drain there. There's literally one everywhere that there is a roof drain. <sighs> not my style, not my style, but cool. The house is nice, the neighborhood's nice, I love this area. We're finally gonna get to bed. Um, I don't know how much sleep we're gonna get, probably not a lot. We've been going on not a lot for the last three weeks, but happy to have the ranch well taken care of right now while we're out here and happy to kind of give a little getaway, even though all the stuff that we do is for work. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.